and this is a very crucial match and i want all of you to be you know equally participated in this we should and we must keep cheering for the teams a very tough competition indeed vietnam and japan we just hope that the best team wins this evening it's going to be uh, the japanese team of uh, nagoya institute of technology nagoya akshay is another city nagoya is another city in japan like tokyo osaka and nagoya yokohama so uh, nagoya producing a champion out here and uh, they are taking on uh, the team from vietnam which is lak hong from the uh, vietnamese so there we are uh, let's go across to, and watch the av of the two teams In the land of the rising sun is the Nagoya city, well known for its manufacturing industry. Nagoya University of Technology sends forth a team of diligent members who are looking to put their best foot forward at Robocon 2014. With a firm and calm strategy, LHNVN of Lakhong University defeated many major competitors to become the champion of Robocon Vietnam 2014. Team Lakhong University is hopeful of carving out its name on the championship plaque at Robocon 2014 and make its country proud.
Akshay and Mona, this is like such a special feeling when you stand for your country. Well, I'll tell you, Charu, I'll tell you one thing. There was a time I used to say, I love my India. Uh, but there is a time, uh, now I can say, I love my world. Quiet, quiet, I love please. this world. Charu, I love this world. Okay. I love the world Before too. To Mr. Singh, I'm the happy. Oh my God, that is a child robot come alive. Can I, can I please request the Vietnamese team to come down? They deserve it all. Vietnam, Vietnam, uh, the scores please. Vietnam, Vietnam. Vietnam, the scores please. Professor T. Over to Mr. T. Pissing for the final score. So what to you? I know it's just a formality. <laughs> team in blue, Japan scored 30 points. Whereas team in red from Vietnam, they scored 80 points with Shabash in 48 seconds. So the winner of Robocon Pune 2014 is team from Vietnam. Thank you very much. Well, many, many congratulations, and we also appreciate the great effort put in by the team. Well, they thoroughly deserve it. They've been a champion team throughout it. I've got my colleague, Mr. Milan Wagle, there with the runner-ups team out of Japan who also have played like a champion. Let's go over and find out what went wrong in the finals and what was that small factor that kept them away from clinching the trophy. You know, I have lifted 40 kilos of this robot. 40